Published 8.05 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018, updated 9.21 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018. A father of one claims that his 340,000 pounds dream home turned out to be a nightmare from hell after he moved in and discovered more than 150 faults. Brian Don, 42, moved into the new build in Garston, Liverpool on December 22nd and said he was horrified by the state the property was in. The property is in Allerton Grange, an estate developed by Morris Homes. Brian Don, 42, claims that he found 154 faults with his dream home the day he moved in with his family. Their garden isn't as boggy as it was but this photo, which Mr. Don says is recent, shows the state of the back garden. He also says that he took down some of the guttering at his property and discovered that it was filled with rubble after having problems with his previous new build home. Mr. Don claims he told Morris staff he wanted to perform a snagging visit to flag any issues before moving in. However, the day before they were due to move in, he and his partner Zoe arrived to do a walkthrough and said they found several jobs still unfinished, including a water leak on one of the ceilings. They moved in on December 22nd and Mr. Don says that he started noticing problems as soon as the family arrived at their new home. A spokesperson for Morris Homes said they take the quality of their homes very seriously and were sorry that, on this occasion, our customer is not completely satisfied. The father of one took these photos which show plastering work done to fix some of the problems. He says they were taken a month after moving in. Project manager Mr. Don claims to have found wet marks on the ceilings, lines in the plaster and no grass laid in the back garden, as it was too wet to put the turf down. He said, we moved all our stuff in and I started noticing all the issues. By the early hours of the morning, I had 154 issues. He paid £336,750 for the Garston property, and he claims he and his partner added an extra £16,500 onto the price by paying for top-of-the-range upgrades. Despite the payment, he says the quality of the work that went into his new build was shoddy, and that jobs like the tiling were not carried out to the standard he expected. He also said that the wardrobes were poorly constructed, and that they didn't let him close the sliding mirrored doors once after putting his clothes inside, Mr. Don said, it was meant to be a dream home. I work away and one of the points is that I don't get to see the family all the time, it was a dream home I've put a lot into. I've pulled out every last penny to make it, it has been horrendous. We walked in and our dreams were spoiled, he added, we expected to have all our furniture delivered. We've had to move items from room to room because one is always being worked on or had different workmen around all the time. It has been the nightmare from hell, Mr. Don said his partner was reduced to tears and that in winter they couldn't take the bins out without putting on Wellish also claimed that. His 11-year-old son wasn't able to play outside in the new garden when they moved in, as the lack of grass and adverse weather conditions turned it into a boggy mess. He said, you couldn't step out to put the rubbish in the bin without wellies on. The move has put an immense amount of strain on Mr. Don and his family. He said that his partner was reduced to tears by the stress and that it took their relationship to breaking point. A spokesperson for Morris Homes said, we take the quality of our homes very seriously and are sorry that, on this occasion, our customer is not completely satisfied. However, we believe we have addressed this and that any issues are now fully resolved. Due to the adverse weather conditions experienced, it has not yet been possible to lay the turf. We are working on a suitable time with the customer to complete this now the weather is improving, he also complained that. His wardrobe was shoddy and once he filled it with clothes, he was unable to shut the sliding door. Mr. Don claims that his partner was devastated by the stress and that it took their relationship to breaking point.